Yeah, got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. LC at it again. Check out this video. Minutes ago, we got breaking news that Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has officially filed articles of impeachment against Justices Samuel Alito and Clarence Thomas. That comes just after Senators Sheldon Whitehouse and Ron Wyden made a formal request to DOJ. They want a special counsel appointed to criminally investigate Supreme Court Justice Thomas for accepting travel and the loan of a luxury car from wealthy donor friends. <laughs> This is got going nowhere. <laughs> All this is is political theater. For the, the she's just mad because there's more conservative judges than there is batshit crazy um, judges. Like that one black woman that don't know what a, don't know what a woman is. She should be impeached. Yeah, that's who you should have wrote them articles. Impeached. This lady does not know what a woman is. I think she could be counterproductive for the women's for women's rights. You know, it would make sense. Or maybe you should be more concerned about Hunter Biden, the the roles and positions he was in overseas when his dad was vice president. I mean, look like you should be more concerned about that. Yeah, ten percent for the big guy. Maybe you should impeach yeah. him. Yeah, Clarence Thomas. Uh, what they say, travel and a loaner car. Yeah, I guess he I got think it. they some some. He has billionaire friends. They pay for trips for him and his wife to take vacations. Yeah. There's some, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But they think it's going to... Um, they think it's a bribe. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm going to fly you and your wife over here now. Put you up in this nice place now. Yeah, it's a case but, coming but this up. Court, there's a case coming up. I mean, what court case is he bribing them for? Yeah. That it just goes to show you she can't point to any one case that he made a decision on that was that was... Suspect. Yeah, but this is the thing. This is not going anywhere. They don't have the votes for it. Yeah. Political theater. It's political theater. It's just <clears> posturing <throat> for her crazy, wacky minions. Minions on the left. It's just to placate them. Give them some kind of, give them the impression that she's got some blood and she's throwing the, the dead meat and for all the crazy minions to eat. That <clears> if great, that makes sense. That's a great depiction. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. For her savages. Because <clears throat> you know the people that vote for her, it's like the walking dead. You people are brain dead. On MSNBC's website, YouTube channel, everybody's like, man, this is why I love her. She's great. This, uh, our, uh, the Supreme Court is corrupt. These guys need to be taken down. <laughs> Y'all think they're corrupt, but Joe Biden's not? And his family? And his son? You people are just the biggest hypocrites. Man, they got cocaine in the White House. They got cocaine in a... I mean, just left the cocaine out. <laughs> so you know that's a crackhead in itself. Yeah. Guess who, who you think left that cocaine in there? <laughs> that family is... That's the... And they already that, know... That, they, who, they know who left the cocaine. I mean, yeah. for you to even get in the White House is a security feat... Upon itself, and you don't know, they know everything. Everybody, whenever you're in the White House, it, they know what everybody's doing, who everybody is. And for them not to come out and come clean about whose cocaine that was, it's another lie. Yeah, but <clears throat> these people are literally trying to destroy our country. This sets a horrible precedent. Yeah. They set a horrible precedent with Donald Trump. They impeached him twice. Yeah. That's how, instead of beating him at the ballot box, they're yeah. trying to beat him. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to use impeachment as a uh, yeah. as a means to an end yeah. to get them out of office. I mean, who's a real threat to our democracy? They're trying to get in judges impeached. Now, if Clarence Thomas was out there getting bribes, you know, he's sitting on boards for energy companies <laughs> and stuff like that and yeah. doing crazy and stuff. And he had court rulings based on those jobs and positions he had? Did he have a financial incentive to rule a certain way? Yeah, I can understand he why he'd be impeached. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not holding Democrats to that same standard. I mean, come on, man. We are threat against democracy. Y'all doing everything. Y'all trying to throw our president in prison. <laughs> Y'all find him guilty of R-A-P-E in a woman? Right? Well, you take out the it's just R-A-P-I-N-G. You got to be grammatic grammatically correct. Then y'all said he defrauded a bank when he paid the loan back? 
34 felonies over that? He that got, is crazy. He got 34 felonies. Yeah. For a non-disclosure agreement. With supposed to some... Your bank stuff? Yeah. So just Who's not, a real threat to our democracy? They yep. covered up everything about the laptop with Hunter Biden. Yeah, I was talking about the non-disclosure agreement with that... Um, well, horse face. Yeah. Hey, just between me and you, you think he did it? You think he, uh, he he went up in that? I heard Trump used to be wild. Yeah, Trump wild. Anybody man. that says just grab him by the... <laughs> Don't get, you know him, don't get him in the club and a couple <laughs> drinks him. And don't smile at him. Because he already know. <laughs> I mean, if he did, I don't care. That's between him and her. That's nobody else's business. Yeah. Why should my decision to vote for him for our president should be based on a relationship he had with a woman 15, 20 years ago? It wasn't that long ago, was it? I don't know. I'm just talking. You know, it could have been long, it could have been shorter. Who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. Don't matter. He's a businessman. Damn good businessman. I don't want him running our country like he's the CEO. That's yeah. why I'm voting for him. Yeah, I like his policy. Yeah. Impe you liberals, man. You going to impeach the Supreme Court. Has that ever even happened in the history of this country? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it has. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, it probably has. Uh, I don't think so. Of the Supreme Court? It's been a lot of first, especially with Democrats in office. Yeah, first president to get impeached twice, first president to get his house raided, <laughs> first president just facing <laughs> prison time over something he didn't commit. First president charged with thirty-four felony counts. First time a judge has ever told a jury to tell them to give them specific specific instructions. To, hey, you don't have to agree on what crime it is. <laughs> That has to be that has to be certain when you're convicting anybody. I'm, I'm sure we're leaving out other stuff. They did so much. Well, stuff. Bill Clinton was the first to, you know, yeah, it was the first. You know what I'm talking about? That is crazy when you think about it. That is crazy. Bill Clinton in the Oval Office with his <laughs> pants around his ankles. <laughs> he could, hey, Monica. You know, you got it on, uh, on a, what you call those? Then they come, hey, Monica, get in here. He come and he just sit down. <laughs> Fully erect. He just sit down. So he, he Bill sitting there, sitting there, right? <laughs> Standing at attention. <laughs> Man. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a masculine thing to do, though. You got one more that's job. Hey, Shut that's, up. I'm trying to say a toxic masculinity right there. <laughs> Hey, Monica, I got one more job for you go home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kevin. One more job. I bet Bill said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, that's what you call toxic masculinity. No, it ain't. Toxic masculinity is something totally different. That's just being a man, really. Yeah. It's just being a man. I mean, can you blame him? his wife? Probably needed it. Yeah, Monica's came in with that nice dress on. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I need to get. Hey, don't go there. <laughs> off. Hey, Keith, you go too far. You know that, right? I left off the S word and I just said off. But come on, man. You take things too far. There's a line. It's okay to go up to the line. Yeah, I'm up to the line. You jumping over the. Oh, Back and over. You, yeah, you yeah, do it, it. It's like, do you jumping back? Yeah. That's how I play it. I don't nah, go up to the line. You breaking the rule. I do it like this. I go up to the line real quick. No, you can't do it. You got to go up to the line, look over the line, but you can't cross it. That's the rule. You can't cross it. LC, you know why you're in office, right? Your, um, your constituency, your voting base, bunch of idiots. Poorest demographic in the country, bunch of morons. And this is what happens when you have a bunch of morons going to the voting polls. Yeah. You get AOC. Not only should Joe Biden have a cognitive test, right? A what? A cognitive test. Oh, uh, he's that cognitive test. Yeah. I pulled a Joe Biden. <laughs> you pulled a Joe Biden. Yeah, I pulled a Joe. You right got to put the teal on you it. You got to put the teal on it. <laughs> you got to put the teal. Not only do I feel Joe Biden, our president, should have a cognitive test, right? right? 
I think everybody in America should have a cognitive test done because if you're not sane and rational, yeah. why should you have the right to vote in our country? Why should you be in public office? Yeah. Why should, why should you be able to vote? If you don't know the difference between a man and woman, why should you have a right to vote? Yeah. That's an knowledge. Why, would you, why should you have an impact on my daily life? Yeah. Show's over. Yeah. It's time to give up our new giveaway. It's a Dodge Ram power truck. And we about to do something we ain't never did before. It's a camper. Not only you get a brand new truck, you get a camper with it too. And 10,000 in cash. Hey, Keith. Yeah. We've given away over $2 million in trucks and cash and prizes. We give them back to the people who support us. Instead of giving money to Facebook to advertise this stuff, yeah. they censored us anyway. So I said, you know what? Incentivize our own people to already support us. It's a win-win for everybody. Go to officialhawk2ends.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah. No purchase necessary. Board were prohibited. See official rules for details. Yeah.